Hey, hey, what's up, JoJo in the morning family? I hope you're having a super good Monday. I got a really good word that I wanna share with you, but hey, after the video, I got something I wanna to talk to you about after the video, I got a separate little small video, and I wanna tell you about two ways that you can connect with us at a greater level. Okay, so let's jump into this. Today, before I shot this video, I, I asked my family, I said, hey, what would be like a really good video to, to talk about today? Like what's something that you really see that people need help with? And my middle child, Judah, she said, dad, you need to talk about the power of your words. She said, so many people just throw things out of their mouth, not even really thinking about where their words are gonna land, who they're gonna impact, and they just carelessly say so many things. So I started really thinking about that, and I said, you know what, that is a very, very good topic. Uh, I was at a little gathering the other day, and somebody was talking about something that they were doing, and um, just talking about their family, and their kids were kind of running around. They said, oh, these kids are going to be the death of me. I, I, would, I wouldn't say that because that's not what the Bible says. The Bible talks about how kids are to be a blessing to us and bring joy to our soul. You know, so many different times people, they say certain things that, that aren't good. You got to watch your words. Um, I remember this guy that I listened to. He said, when I'm having a rough day, I'm talking a bad day. I always say, I'm having a character building day. <laughs> and so I thought, man, I, I love that, you know. A lot of times, like if if I'm having a day that I may be like a little bit of physical pain or just not, just, you know, just one of those days. Somebody say, how you doing? I'm focused. I'm focused. I'm focused. And 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 that's it. You You got to understand, don't let the words come out of your mouth the way that you're just naturally feeling when God has so much in store. Recently in our, our mentoring group, one day, I, I believe I also talked to like four people in one day, and all four of the people in our mentoring group said this, man, I, I haven't seen the manifestation of the promises that God has for me. They said, but Jojo, I feel his power, his spirit, my joy, my peace is full but I don't see the manifestation and I'm staying strong. That's a great way to put it. You know, I had three people in our mentoring group last week text me, you're not gonna believe this. I'm like, oh yeah, I will. Cause we've been praying for breakthrough and they had massive, huge breakthroughs. And all three of those people that had those breakthroughs, do you know what I noticed? None of them let a negative word come out of their mouth. They would say things like, oh, I'm standing on this promise. I'm standing on this agreement I have with the Lord. I'm standing on this prophetic word and I will not be shaken, nor will I be moved, okay? Ephesians 4.29 says, do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouth, but only what is helpful for building up according to people's needs, that it may benefit those who listen, okay? And I, I want you to understand this, that when, when people are around you, it, it should make them better. People should benefit in life because of you. I have people call me all the time and say, hey man, I just, I just call, I just need some encouragement. And so I know that they know that I will only speak upward things. I will speak the truth. I'll speak the word of God. I'll, I'll speak what I've been feeling in prayer. We gotta watch our words. We, we have to, uh, I remember one time I was around this evangelist good friend of mine, good speaker. But I noticed one day his, his kids had a low self-esteem and I, I didn't, you know, didn't know why, because he's a powerful preacher, walks in the power of God. And I was talking to him and his kids ran up to him. He said, oh, there they are. 
my little rugrat thinking, mm -mm, your kids ain't no rugrat. And, uh, you know, I, I just, I speak life over my family. I speak blessing over my family. You know, I heard a guy say today, I said, hey, how's it going? He said, man, just, I said, I'm just trying to make it. I'm just trying to survive, barely paying my bills. How are you doing? I said, oh, I'm in a thriving motion. He said, you're thriving? I said, I'm in a thriving motion. I'm moving from survival mode to thriving mode. I'm, I'm, I'm moving towards it. He goes, okay. I said, think of where you're going. Verbalize where you're going. Uh, another scripture, Proverbs 10, 19, sin is not ended by multiple words, but by the prudent who hold their tongues. You know, a, a lot of times you just need to watch your mouth. You just need to not speak things. One thing I've learned over the years is when something happens that doesn't go my way, I don't just verbalize it. I had something happen the other day. It took about an hour of my day that I wasn't expecting to lose. And I just went, okay, I'm going to deal with it. Not going to verbalize it. Not going to get mad. Just it is what it is. I'm going to make up my time. Watch my words. Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruits. I don't know about you, but I love apples. I love gala apples, especially when they're in the fridge. Woo! I like grapes too. Mm, well, I like peaches. I like uh, plum, nectar. I like it. I like watermelon. I like it all. But the thing about it is, ain't nothing like fresh fruit. You ever go to the store? And you, you get home, you got that, you know, like you do the, the, the shopping where they just bring it to your car. You don't go in and they bring you a bag of apples and some of them are like brown and stuff. That's how our soul looks when we're not verbally saying things. You know, a lot of people's problems are only energized by the attention and the words that they give them. You know, I, I know people that may have like a physical infirmity. And I told one guy, I said, man, as soon as you quit verbalizing how how bad it is, you're going to probably get better. And he quit verbalizing. He said it went away. Death and life are the power of the tongue. So why don't we speak life? Why don't we speak life over our family, our friends, our future, our finances, our health? Our ministry leaders, why, why don't we just speak life? Is, is this makes sense? Proverbs fifteen four, when you speak healing words, you offer others fruit from the tree of life. When you listen, when you speak healing words, you offer other people the hope that we have in Jesus. You speak healing words. You bring joy and peace to people, harmony to people. You bring life to people. That's why I love mentoring people. I just love speaking life to them. And it says, but unhealthy negative words do nothing but crush people's hopes. I remember years ago, we had a, a young adult ministry and and uh, this one girl, she was mad. She said, I'm leaving this group. I'm leaving this group. And, and I said, okay, why? She said, well, I love your service. You have powerful worship. I said, okay. Powerful preaching. A lot of great preachers here. I said, I always raise up preachers. Everybody's so nice. And I said, Okay. She said, everybody's too nice and too positive. <laughs> They're always like, think up, think up, think up. And I'm like, okay. She says, some days I just have a bad day and I want to verbalize it. And, and I said, okay, um, ask your question. Is that fair? She said, yeah. 
I said, didn't you tell me that your mom and dad are the most negative people that you met, that you ever known? Your family is dysfunctional. They verbally just, is just so negative on everything. And you hated it and you loved them, but you didn't like that aspect. You moved out because of it and you wanted to be around a culture that quoted the word, prayed, had powerful service, and spoke life. And she said, yeah, I guess I've just had it ingrained in me for so long that that's just kind of who I am. I said, no, no, it's just, it's just, you were, were, you're not, you're not. You were a product of your raising, your environment growing up, but you changed your environment. You will become a product of this environment. You know, that young lady left that ministry, went to another church, left that church, went to another church, left that church, went to another church, and all three churches that she went to, I know the leaders, and they are really good people. Love God and love people. You get around folks that love God and love people, you got something right there. Anyway, and, and she's just, to this day, she still just, this girl has more gifts, talents, and ability, but she's just, just the words that were spoke over her have attached to her. Um, I try to speak life over everybody. You need to be around people to speak life over you and distance yourself from people who speak negative. God called you to thrive in life, not to survive. He called you to thrive, okay? So what I got for you today, there's a video coming up and it's two ways that, because a lot of people ask, hey, how can I connect with you in autumn um, at, at a deeper level? What do y'all offer besides just these daily videos? Watch this video and I'll explain it. Hello family, we always get a lot of different people to message us on our videos. How can we connect with you at a deeper level? Well, we have two ways that you can really connect. The first one is Mentored with JoJo Dawson. What we do is we have a Facebook group and people get in that group and I post something encouraging every day, but every week I have two videos that I post just in for that family, okay? And also we have monthly one-on-one -on -one calls and what I wanna do is help people to move move forward and advance in their God-given assignments. Some people, they're business owners. Some, they're in ministry. And some, they want to move forward in their personal relationship with the Lord. There's a lot of people in our mentoring group that are writing books or starting video channels or whatever it may be, writing a blog. I love helping people to move forward. So yeah, in a, the link below, there's going to be a way that you can connect with us on that. And the other way is our health program. My wife and I are health coaches with Optavia. We would be your personal health coach. And also we have an amazing coaching opportunity because there's a lot of people today that want to entrepreneur and run their own business. And that's the side of the business that I really handle. And I would be your personal coach to help you to be your own health coach because there's a lot of people out there that are looking for side incomes or income replacement. So those are two great ways that you can connect with us at a greater level. And also, you know, we're on all the social medias. We're on Facebook and we're on Instagram and Twitter and YouTube. We're all over and on Rumble. So you can always connect with us. But my wife and I have given our hearts to help people. And also, any Sunday, you can come to Roar Church, Texarkana, right here in Texarkana, and you can come meet us and spend the weekend with us and experience God. I love you guys, and we want to help you to move forward and advance your kingdom assignment.